Hello my convicts and convict heads, yes it is Cup Convict and yes we're going to look at the new NetDuma R2. So this is the official video that they released from NetDuma in regards to the NetDuma R2 in all its glory. Just make sure that it's on HD. So without further ado, let's have a look at this and see what we think of the new NetDuma R2. And there we go. So there we have it, the NetDuma R2 gaming router. And the cool antennas here. The design of it's really nice as well. It looks pretty cool on here with the shape and everything. To me, obviously, it's not about the actual shape. It's about what's inside this box that obviously will potentially make this one of the best gaming routers out there ever. So hopefully we'll get a bit more of an idea as we get close obviously to the launch of this as it launches on the 6th and I'll actually get this on the 7th of August as I have applied for the next day delivery. I've double checked with Frazier as well and the team, Frazier being one of the, the main people in that Duma and he's confirmed that he has received the order and it should obviously go out on the 6th ready for the 7th and uh, should receive, receive it on the 7th by DHL. So there we go. So what we're going to also do now is we're going to have a look at some of the features of the NetDuma R2, which I've seen here that they've uploaded quite recently. So we'll start off with the traffic controller, which is with Duma OS 3.0, the new Duma OS 3.0. So this doesn't have volume to it, so I'm just going to pause it in between and let's talk about it. So looking at these ones here, automatically you can see traffic rules you can add a rule here and from what we can see you can see the priority uh, that is enabled what the rules name is gaming block playstation gaming and the schedule so as you can see here you can actually block the playstation at certain times of the day as you can see here and i've also done this for the family tree as well to block devices at certain times as well because they've put either block others allow on there as well and that means obviously it should probably block in between the times that you state and there's even an event capture here as well so they're adding a rule social media so it's here traffic controller is next gen generation firewall giving you the power to block any applications ports or devices on your network So they're adding a rule for social media. And then you can schedule what time your rules are active to manage when certain traffic is allowed on your network, which is really cool. One thing I've had or I've seen, and if you've ever watched such as um, Battle Nonsense, nearly forgot his name, it was always talking about obviously congestion control and he was using another product and he said the problem and issue sometimes with some routers obviously with QoS is that when someone would come in with a mobile device it would automatically start to sync all that information and this can obviously take up 
precious download or upload speed and can also cause interference. Now with this idea, you can obviously block that device from doing it at a certain time. So say if you're going to do a, an important recording and you know between 12 and 4, you're going to be recording or streaming, you can actually put a rule to block mobile phones and any other devices between either the AM or PM on whatever days obviously you plan to do that and it will not allow it to upsync and upload and do all that stuff that would normally do once it actually reconnects to the internet. I think that's pretty cool. That is awesome. So as you can see that it's going to block. You can choose where you want. You can secure your smart devices, keeping your data private or block social media for some family time. The choice is yours. And there we go. Doom OS 3.0. We've got geofencing. Which gives you an example up there already. But now you can actually draw where you want the actual geofencing to be. Before it used to be a circle, like a circle, and then you would just expand the circle like this. Now obviously you can draw individual lines around anything you want and use that obviously here as your geo filter shapes, which is really cool. You can see it's in polygon mode at the moment. There we go. How cool is that? So any devices within these red areas, obviously the service you're going to choose, which will obviously help reduce your ping massively. I think that's a really cool upgrade to obviously what we had before. Like I said, it used to be a circle that used to just either grow the circle bigger or shrink the circle. But the problem is obviously if you were doing such as like the UK and you wanted just the UK, then you would sometimes catch Ireland in there as well if you was to put it where you are actually located on the UK and then expand your map to include the whole of the UK you would include Ireland as well now obviously you can just draw around and completely eliminate such as like any other places like Ireland or Italy or any places that you feel would obviously give you bad connections right this is the quality of service So here you can see the normal standard thing we normally use to get with such as like the NetDuma R1, the prioritization table. And as you can see, each one's got 11 downloads at the moment for gaming, uncategorized, voice over IP, VPN, there's chat and messages, file sharing, web in general, live streaming. And you can prioritize these devices and you can also turn off the download share access and download upload and the upload access but what would happen then is it would not share any of the extra download or upload bandwidth that was left over with it takes at the moment it will do that but you can also prioritize and give more bandwidth to anything you feel even if you say for instance want game and live stream as you'll see in this demonstration though actually do something so gone by applications so you can give bandwidth to your favorite applications across all devices and you can see here that are prioritizing to see devices here and you can then obviously increase and you can see what the actual down the bandwidth is there as well which is really cool let me cancel that We've got a connection benchmark. This one's a really, really good one because we've always had to use the websites, uh, a particular website to be able to do this, to actually find out. I forgot the name of the website. I've not used it for such a long time, but it was a cool website and then they stopped maintaining it. And it's just got worse and worse because they've not maintained it. And even the certain servers that they've stopped using that you would normally want to use, such as like the London servers, so obviously the, the, it's almost our commission. So to have this feature is a really, really big thing for me. So here you can see a connection test is about to be run. 
can run the speed score, you get a ping score, and you get the bloat graph. And this is the history chart at the bottom. You can see and it tells you the time and the date and what the speed rating, what the ping rating was, and what the buffer bloat rating was. So this is ideal because this will give you an exact representation of what your connection is doing at what time and what date it was doing that and you can obviously use all these and to figure out the best times um possibly the best days to do it on as well going by the date so you can see it's running the speed test score so you can run extremely accurate speed tests dire directly on the duma os you can find out how good your line is for gaming with a dedicated line ping test and you can measure congestion to diagnose causes of lag on your local network as well, which is awesome. Track your line quality over time with historical results, which obviously will be down here. But that's really cool. Being able to actually see what the problems is, especially for like the buffer bloat, and it tells you obviously what the idle, what your upload and download speeds are, but also to see if you've got any jitter on the line, which you can see there's 1.73 milliseconds on there. It's got a base ping of 13.24 and zero packet loss. And it even tells you what the speed is. So it's got 30.5 and 5.5, which is typical. It's more or less my connection. I get 34 down and 5, 5.20 sometimes up. Or sometimes it'll be 4.8 something upload. So that's really, really cool. That obviously, this person here has got a similar connection to what I have. Uh, in terms of especially download and upload at the moment. That's really cool. Let's cancel that. So there you go. So that's some of the features of the NetDuma R2 gaming router. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you like that idea? Do you think it would be a good gaming router I actually think it's going to be really really good uh, I do think it's got a lot of potential obviously there's going to be a few bugs and probably bits and pieces that may need ironing out at times but you get that with any device even when the new PlayStation console and the new Xbox console comes out obviously we're still going to have this issue for these devices uh, but I'm looking pretty forward to it especially being able to actually run tests myself instead of having to go to websites or anything else or speedtest.net and things like that to run tests at least now I've got a much more accurate way of finding out what the problem is and obviously trying to combat that issue and problem as well as you all know I've always had the odd day where my, I've had my issues with connection and with problems and stuff like that so it'd be really nice to have this feature and this particular gaming router to be able to help tackle those problems and issues as well. Also, I'm going to do a separate vlog today. I want to talk a little bit more in regards to the connection uh, that I was setting up for Friday. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But yeah, there we go. Let do my R2. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I'm actually looking very forward to it. Um, if you do pre-order it now, obviously you get it for £130, unless you want it like me as well, where you have to add a little bit extra on top of that if you're wanting it delivered for the next day. But I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully enjoyed this. Look into NetDumatu. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap that notification bell to be notified of all my videos. So obviously you can see the new NetDumatu and see me play test the crap out of the NetDumatu to see what we can actually physically do with this connection. Well, there you go. Hopefully enjoyed. You know it is. It is Adek of Convict signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in some more gameplays. Bye for now.